and Jones has more. The financial crash of 2008 brought a new focus on the behavior of Wall Street. But what happened to the regulations that were promised in its wake? The largest financial institutions have been doing everything they can to make sure that financial regulations don't get it put in place. And that's exactly the way it should be, according to champions of the free market, men like hedge fund manager John Tobacco. We don't need these socialist forms of regulation, the Elizabeth Warrens of the world coming down and sticking their little fingers and micromanaging the capital markets. So if those women came down with their little hands, what, what would we wind up looking like? We'd start looking a hell of a lot more like Canada. And nobody wants that. I should know. I'm from Canada. A horrific country where the financial system is heavily regulated by a centralized government office that sets rules on almost every type of transaction. I reluctantly traveled back to Toronto and sat down with the CEO of Canada's eighth largest bank to hear his tales of woe about over-regulation. The model of regulation we have had in this country has been a huge contributor to the stability of the banking system and the stability of our economy. But regulation doesn't work. It definitely slows things down a little bit, but the Canadian banking system has not had a crash in 150 years or, or even longer. It hasn't crashed? Absolutely not. The internet bubble? There's a couple stocks maybe that went down, but no, no. Market crash of 87. Market crash in 87, I don't think it was one that certainly affected the banking system. What about the Great Depression? No, our banking system persevered through the Great Depression as well. A ridiculous claim substantiated by nothing more than facts. But a real capitalist would know that's not the point. The American financial system is the last bastion of free market capitalism in the world. It's the greatest system the world has ever known. Well, what about the statistical evidence that shows otherwise? What statistical evidence? Well, since 1790, the U.S. has had 16 banking crises, and Canada has had uh, zero. There have been bubbles and bursts in the U.S., but if you're educated and you're prepared, you should be able to profit. You see, these bubbles and bursts are just a bit of harmless free market fun. There's nothing fun about people's house losing 50% of their value. But you can make money off that busting. There are some people, a very few amount of people, who can make money. But the rest of them, who cares? Are you serious? I would never, ever say that. Why not? It's, it's, it's an outrageous thing to say. Screw them? No. Oh my God, somebody please teach these people how to bank. We have a lot of products here in the U.S. that the Canadians can take a hint from, like, uh, for example, collateralized mortgage obligations. Although we went overboard with them, it's still a product that worked. Do you guys do over-under inside-outside loans? No, never, never heard of those. It's a reverse shrinking derivative. Okay. Still never heard of it. Unlike Americans, average Canadians have been denied these financial instruments, leaving them confused about what a banker really is. When I say the word banker, what comes to mind? Trustworthy, uh, considerate. When I say the word banker, what comes to mind? Cockroaches. Greedy little bricks. They're just like an extension of my family. Fleefy, disrespectful. Reliable. Backstabbing. Transparent. Money grubbing. I love Canadian banks. They're pieces of <laughs> That's what they are. And that is the real problem with regulation. It attacks the proud, rich culture of the banker, an exciting lifestyle of offensive wealth that sadly in some parts of the world has already been lost. We have fun out here, we have fun. No, you don't. We do. Prove to me that you are fun. Well, put on the spot, I'll, I guess I could tell you a joke. So tell me a joke then. So a duck walks into a pharmacy and he asks for some chapstick. And when he, went, when he goes to pay, he says, put it on my bill. What's the difference between jelly and jam? I don't know. You can't jelly your <laughs> in a girl's mouth. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> and you can't jam regulation down a country's throat. Because to do so would be to undermine our nation's entire financial philosophy. Finish this great American banking mantra. Greed is... Bad. Greed is...
is dangerous. Okay. I guess Canadian Wall Street version is a little different. So, America, you can have regulation, but only if you're prepared to live in a world that looks like this. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is not good. Greed is wrong. Greed is not a quality that people look for in their bankers, eh? Thank you very much. Good speech, Gordo. Way to be ethical, pal. Oh, Canada, I'm so glad I left you.